a reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Today I have set before you life and prosperity, death and doom. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I enjoin on you today, loving him and walking in his ways and keeping his commandments, statutes, and decrees, you will live and grow numerous, says the Lord your God, and you will be blessed in the land you are entering to occupy. If, however, you turn away your hearts and will not listen, but are led astray and adore and serve other gods, I tell you now that you will certainly perish. You will not have a long life on the land that you are crossing the Jordan to enter and occupy. I call heaven and earth today as witness against you. I have set before you life and death, the blessing and the curse. Choose life then that you and your descendants may live by loving the Lord your God, heeding his voice and holding fast to him. For that will mean life for you, a long life for you to live on the land that the Lord swore he would give your fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. The word of the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruit in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Blessed are they who hope in the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory, repent, says the Lord, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Praise to you. The Lord be with you. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders and the chief priests and the scribes, and be killed on the third day and on the third day be raised. He then went to say to all, if anyone wishes to come after me, he must deny himself, take up his cross daily and follow me. For whoever wishes to save his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life for my sake will gain it. What profit is there for one to gain the whole world yet to forfeit himself? The Gospel of the Lord. Uh, it's interesting, at the end of this gospel, it reminds me of the, the movie and the play, A Man for All Seasons, where uh, Sir Thomas More is betrayed by a former student. 
And this, by betraying Sir Thomas More, the student gets a political position, and Sir Thomas says, ah, oh, what profit does it gain them to gain the whole world yet to forfeit himself, but for Wales, because he became a ruler over Wales or something like that. And yet this is something which is always put before us. Every day we need to decide whether we're going to go to the way of life, that is, walk as Lord would have us or not. And a lot of times when we think of carrying our cross, we think of carrying it to Calvary. And yeah, that's where it ends up. But for most of us, our Calvary is just living each day faithful to what the Lord has called us to do. Uh, it's not something glorious or dramatic. It's just bearing the drudgery of the day, being faithful when we don't want to be, being honest when we don't want to be, um, speaking the truth when it's not convenient in a loving way. Um, you know, I can think of a time once years ago, I got a wedding invitation. It was for same-sex marriage. And I thought, you know, how do I handle this? And so I, I wrote a letter to the, the person who sent it, because I know that the person who sent it didn't send it out of anger. You know, the, the person sent it because they believed that this was a celebration I might want to go to. And I explained to the person why I could not attend. I appreciate the fact they wanted me there, but I, I just, in good conscience, couldn't attend. And I hoped they would accept where I was at. Well, the relationship was strained for a while. And interestingly enough, the couple soon parted. It was a horrible, even if it was a heterosexual marriage, it would have been a disaster. But anyway, um, and so we need to make a decision. And each day, in some way, we need to stand for the truth. And we need to be faithful. And even sometimes carrying our cross is to just keep our mouth shut. So we need, when we come to the Lord today, to um, pray for the grace to carry the cross in whatever form it comes to us today, and that we carry it faithfully, and that we do that each day, because that will get us closer to the kingdom and will help save those around us. May Jesus Christ be praised.